for ancient Hindu people, this group of stars was Saptarishi, the seven sages. In Hindu mythology, many of the bronze stars were beautiful wives of Lord Chandrama, the moon god. For our forefathers, it was common sense to think that the earth was flat and the stars, planets, the moon and the sun went around the earth. They moved in fixed parts in our skies day after day and year after year as they do today. However, science is not based on common sense. It is based on observations and predictions that are verifiable and supported by mathematics. The geocentric model of the universe in which the earth is at the center of the universe and all heavenly bodies including the sun and the planets go around the earth was the obvious choice of ancient people. The planets do not shine in their own light, but they look like stars in our sky. Ancient people observed that some stars crawled from constellation to constellation in weeks or months or years. They called these stars planets. The word planet means wanderer in Greek. They gave these planets names Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn. These five are now called naked eye or classical planets. Ancient people also got fascinated by a whitish river in the sky. We now call it Milky Way. Many ancient cultures considered it as a river of the heaven. The Mayans in Central America believed it to be a white bone serpent. The Finns and the Estonians in North Europe believed it to be a pathway of birds. Some believed it to be the abdomen of a dolphin. In Hindu mythology, it is Akash Ganga. On certain occasions, we see the full moon slowly turning blood red and covered with a shadow. It lasts for three to four hours. We now call the phenomenon lunar eclipse. Eclipses scared the ancient people and they were supposed to bring bad luck. In Hindu mythology, it is believed that the demons Rahu and Ketu temporarily swallow the moon on the night of the eclipse. We now know that eclipses are a matter of geometry and shadows. There is nothing to be afraid of them. Right now, we are looking at the moon from the sun on the day of the lunar eclipse. We can see that the earth has come in between the moon and the sun, thus making the moon fall in the earth's shadow. The sunlight falling on the moon is blocked by the earth. 